Welcome back guys, High Tech Lab here. This is the earliest I've ever been up for a YouTube video. I haven't even had my first cup of coffee. But the reason is because I'm trying to beat the heat here getting some solar added to my house. I'm on the east side of the house and this is the least shaded part of the house uh, that there is. You can see I have some panels laid out here on the ground. They're just set here temporarily. But today I have an awesome new racking system that I've never seen ever before. Uh, that we're going to be putting these panels on and this is going to be pretty cool and kind of a little bit of an instructional guide because if we're successful here i'm going to get a lot more of this racking coming for you and your systems to take advantage of so let's check out what we have and here we go these are literally all the parts other than this bag of goodies um, that is going to mount all 11 of these panels there are these bases here there's 12 of those so they go between all of the panels and one at each end. So essentially you get one per panel plus you need an extra. So let me get them pulled out of the truck and show you what they look like on the ground. There's not an awful lot to these. They are molded plastic solar mounts. So. The design concept here is they have these compartments and you can fill these with gravel and then screw your panels into them and now you don't need to anchor anything to the ground. So for a temporary setup it's really easy to just get a few of these, a truckload of gravel, fill them with gravel, and if you're done using them then you can just take them, flip them over, you know, empty the gravel out and take them away and spread out the gravel and now you have an excellent temporary setup. First thing to note, there are holes in the bottom for water to drain out, and then you can see there's notches in this top frame for the panels to sit in. Pretty neat. Now this here is my end support. So this is the very end of the row. You'll notice this is a little bit deeper, so I have these little plastic inserts they set in here, and now the panel will sit on top of here and it brings it to the right height. The reason it has that is because when your panel's sitting on the other um, support, this acts essentially as a wire entry so you can fish your wires through. But in the case of this one, I need it to be able to support the panel. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you setting a panel on there. However, I obviously would want to fill these with gravel first. Now this panel is an Ion Rise 330 watt panel. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to just set that down on there. And now I would just screw in my brackets to hold it in place. However, I'm not gonna do that because I haven't filled it with gravel, but that's all it really takes to kind of get these panels started. And it gives you a better idea of the look and feel of how this rack is going to, to set up. Now part of the reason I set this up is because I wanted to get a measurement. So if I have this panel centered roughly just based off of there being about two cells on the bottom and two on the top, if I measure here I'm about a foot of overhang with the panel. So I'm just trying to figure out how much space I want behind the house or away from the house. I'm going to go 24 inches. That way I have about that much room to walk behind these if I need to. So that'll be ideal. And then in terms of spacing them out, I'll just measure the 39 and a half inch width that these panels are, and then I can get them roughly set in place. I'm actually gonna mount all of the solar panels right now. That way um, I can take the panels back up to fill them with gravel. Um, and if I get lazy midday, um, I at least am already generating power and then I can come back to it later. Hopefully it doesn't become one of those temporary things, you know, where it's temporary forever but we'll see how it goes. This is going way too easy. So I'm putting in this uh, T bracket. I'm just getting it started here from the last panel. I'm only putting in the top ones right now, but if I get that started, I'm kind of going to show you how long it takes to get a panel in place. So the bracket's in. 
literally just grab the panel, drop it down, and then I got my 12 inch measurement I figured out for the top here. And I've been lining these up really good. Then I just squeeze the panels together, line them up, cinch the screw down, check the measurement, we're bang on. And now I just need to scoot this bracket over, line it up. And now I'm in the same position as when I just started this clip. So as you can tell, the longest time is gonna be taking these and filling them with gravel, but the general concept of actually mounting the panels is extremely easy. I am really glad, however, that I'm not filling these with gravel because there is a little bit of adjustment. For example, my measurement off the house right now, I've drifted about two inches and with these not filled yet, I can literally take the whole rack and fine tune it right now. Again, if these were filled with gravel, I couldn't do that yet but it's gonna be really easy to just take up one panel, shovel in the gravel, and then put the panel back. So I'll uh, kind of do that here at the end, but we'll see how it goes. For now, I'm gonna get the rest of the panels mounted. The sun's starting to come up. As you can see, it's getting hot. 6.05 a.m., so I'm less than an hour in, and I already have three, six, seven panels out of 11 mounted. So um, again, aside from filling these with gravel, this is going extremely quick. So now I have all the panels mounted. I'm just going through now and kind of just shimmying them because they're not all totally like filled with gravel. I can just kind of scoot them and just getting them, you know, dialed in exactly where I need them. They're all equal distance from the house right now. So I'm literally just at the point where I need to put some gravel in them, hook them up to the solar arc and I'm good to go. So. I mean, this is incredibly easy. I can't believe it went as quick as it did. I knew it would be fast, but not this fast. So yeah, I think uh, I'm impressed. I think that means you'll be impressed. And uh, yeah, I'll get this finished up and uh, show you more as it happens.